I have to move out today and I really don't want to. There's so much stuff on my walls and I just don't want to take it down. A big part of my life is comfort. I love being comfy cozy. I'm just a comfy cozy person. So if I don't have a lot of stuff on my wall or things to make me feel a little grounded, scientifically, I will not get very good rest. But if I don't move out now, then I'll have to move out on the very last day and that's a lot of work. I'm planning on putting everything big, like this poster and this tube. For a few years, I was stuck in this clean girl minimalist type of aesthetic with my room at home and I never truly felt satisfied with the way I was decorating. But when I moved to my dorm, I branched out and I took some inspiration from my maximalist Pinterest boards and I decorated in a way that made me feel comfortable and cozy. So after living here for around eight months, I got really attached to everything on my walls that brought me this comfort. This meant I dreaded moving out solely because I wanted to retain that feeling of being at home. <laughs> Fun fact, actually really, really sad fact. Um, I had these stars that were little decals on my windows like these and right when I was taking them down it took me all year to notice that little bugs had flown into them and got stuck and died. I'm about to go get Mexican food and then make some art and figure out all of my apartment security deposit lease stuff because I'm moving in like a week, less than a week, like five days. So that's pretty exciting. I'm gonna be living back downtown, so I'll have a lot of things to do down there, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go get my food and then enjoy my food. And today's supposed to be really nice. It's been very, very nice here in Atlanta. Um, I like it hot and it's hot during the summer and spring and fall. After moving out of my dorm for the next month or so, my room at my parents' house was this gray area of not being fully moved back in and also being prepared to move out in the next couple weeks. So that's the state I was living in. I'm not always comfortable in that state. I really like being cozy and comfy and organized. Also these chickpeas slap, not gonna lie. <laughs> Beautiful morning today. It's actually 1 p.m. Uh, me and Marley are gonna go thrifting today. I'm gonna take a shower and then we're gonna go. On today's little thrift adventure, we first went to Last Chance and I was looking for decor and furniture for the apartment, which I didn't really have that much luck in. I found this one piece. Then we got sushi at Kroger. We also went to Second Life in Avondale. I just didn't record anything. I got a few things there. Then we went to this place called Motherload. It's this vintage store. It has a lot of really well curated furniture and high quality items. They're just very, very out of my budget and I kind of get it, but also, oh my goodness. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the thrift store. So I got this book, Evil, A Primer, A History of a Bad Idea from Beelzebub to Bin Laden. Pretty good so far. I got this little thing that Sophia would really like for 99 cents. So cute, look at the little faces. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it though. Cause I would put a plant in it, but there's no hole in it. And also this thing. I also got this mug that also exudes Sophia energy. I got this ring. I really, really love it. It's gonna be in my ring rotation. And I got this giant ass. I think it's like Masonite board or something. I also got this shirt. At this point, my days at my parents' house were slowly coming to an end as we were about to sign our lease. I went for a little walk to clear my mind. I took a little bath and my skin has been so crazy, so this kind of helped soothe that. I watched a movie that my friend told me to watch. I finally got around to it and I started drawing a little more. I haven't really been able to sit down and do a lot of time lapses, as y'all have noticed. So this was a little sum sum to fill up my sketchbook and also not check my phone and also, you know, just get some content out of it for the YouTubes because I miss making YouTube content. I'm really trying to get back into it. I have so much free time now, so I'm hoping it'll stay that way. And yeah, I tried to revisit this project that I had for second semester. Um, for my studio class, we had to draw on the inside of these circle shapes and, you know, fill in that space. And I just wanted to replicate that because the idea was just really, um, I don't know, it didn't take much effort to really execute. So I just went ahead and did it. 
and then I revisited these kind of weirdly shaped pipes. I started doing this in, I believe it was either my last video or the video before that. I want to say two videos ago from now, I worked on a sketchbook spread and I did these for the first time. It was really therapeutic, so I did more. Also, espresso time. Oh my god, what's that? What's that? What is it? Oh my god! Chill out! Yeah. Things have been quite stressful lately. A lot of stuff in the news is happening right now with like reproductive rights, which is kind of concerning as it's 2022. I want y'all to know that my stance on abortion is very clearly pro-choice. Please donate to your local abortion funds if you can. It is so, so, so important right now that these organizations have the funds to keep doing what they're doing. Back to my little life. I'm about to go work a double. I have a big ass pimple on my forehead that I want to go away. When I get home, I'm probably gonna work on a video and then crash. And then a week from now, next weekend, I'm hopefully moving into my new apartment. This was the night before I planned to move into my apartment. Pretty much everything was packed in a suitcase. I planned to take at least like two trips to the apartment just to get all my stuff there. And this was my room on the first night. Uh, floor mattress for the win. I had a lot of stuff on the floor, but I organized it all that night, but it was pretty hectic. I don't know why I just decided to throw everything on the floor when I unpacked it, but yeah, the vibes were interesting. And I put these command hooks on the wall and organized all my necklaces and bracelets in the bathroom. And here is a little bathroom tour. I didn't even realize that this mirror on the side opened up at first, but it does. So that is a little unexpected storage space right there. I definitely needed to clean it out first though. Um, and here's my shower toilet area. I have my little bathroom rug and my shower curtain and my little holographic guy. Um, these were all from my dorm bathroom, as well as this little guy that hangs off of the shower head. My Dr. Bronner's soap, my earrings, perfume, hand soap, etc. My little station in the bathroom. And here's the little bed area. I got a bedside table the next day. I just moved this desk in with my mom. I didn't want to move my flexi spot desk. I didn't want to have to like bring it in an elevator and all that just because it's glass and heavy. My mom found this ikea desk it's adjustable she found it on facebook marketplace for like i think less than 70 dollars somewhere around that price range she's pretty big it's like actually so big pull it out and then you can make it go up or down i really like it here is me attempting to cook something with protein from scratch. I just decided to make some quinoa and then I cooked an egg and I put some beans on top with Chick-fil-A sauce and green onions. And it was actually pretty good. I think I did all right. Also ignore the peace lilies on the windowsill. I ended up moving them cause I know they are low light plants. But yeah, she was bussing, not gonna lie. <laughs> then I drove home and I had to walk my sister's dog. So I did that. He did perfect, cutie pie. And then I drove back home. I probably ran some errands. I just didn't really film all of it. 
I'm about to go vote for the first time in my life. There's been a lot of controversy about whether voting actually helps anymore. I am kind of on the fence about it. I'm not very well versed in politics, but I do know that it's getting very dystopian up in this bitch. just went to my apartment building's mail room for the first time. This is for my sister's birthday, which is actually tomorrow, so I'm so glad this came. But I ordered one more thing and that still hasn't come, so I'm kind of worried. Just a tad bit, but time also doesn't exist. It will get to her eventually. <laughs> Whoa! I got her the Future Do Oil Hydro... Hi oil Serum Hybrid. This is the state of my apartment at this point in time and I am so so happy with all the green and the brown and all the patterns. I loved adding the curtains to my door and I think the bed frame really adds to it, um, really elevates things and usually I tuck in the comforter to actually see the bed frame. I don't know why it was like that here. And then I made some brownies for the function. My friend Tayara, she had a little picnic at the cemetery and I wanted to make some brownies, but I got there a little too late. So I was the only person who ate the brownies because everyone else already ate a lot of things, but I don't know, it's still worth a shot. It's the thought that counts. And then I had extra brownies when I came home. Think about the Mordecai. <laughs> yeah. Mordecai and Twilight Sparkle. I decided I want to make a zine. So I'm kind of organizing that right now. I'm in the process of getting everyone's names. I'm figuring out on my laptop on this zine website how I should print it. I'm doing a little research and I'm trying to like mess with these numbers until I find a price that I like and I don't really want to pay $104 out of pocket. So out of the nine of us, I think I'm gonna have us either split it or just have everyone pay like five bucks at least just to um, really invest in the zine so I don't have to fund the entire thing. I feel like it only seems fair if I'm also paying people back anyway. Good morning y'all. So I made my message that I'm going to send to all my zine friends, even though they're all my friends and I know who they are and I know that there is no judgment. I am so unfathomably embarrassed of sending long text messages. So I have it all typed out in my notes app. I'm doing everything I can in my power to condense this message into the shortest possible thing so it doesn't go past the edge of the phone screen. But I feel like no matter what I do, it's going to do that. So I'm just kind of accepting it. Like I know that it's not embarrassing. I trust my friends to take the time out of their day to read all of it. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to be annoying. Like. Shut up, shut up, come on. I'm about to send said message and hopefully people will respond. I'm giving everyone a month to submit their art so hopefully that's enough time. I'm assuming that's enough time, especially since it's the summer. I don't know, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do it. Like I, I have it pulled up here. I copied and pasted it. I proofread it like five times. I have all my friends up here and I'm gonna press send, okay. I'm coming to you live with a time lapse of some Boink Mag brainstorming. I wanted the theme to be flesh, but I also wanted it to be made up of every color that I could possibly use to increase the vibrancy. It doesn't look as flesh-like as I anticipated, but again, this is definitely a little more of a brainstorming phase. Plus, I was bored and I wanted to make something that looked officialized as well as beautiful. So there we go. This was on mixed media paper, which probably wasn't the wisest choice since I was using colored pencils, but that's what I stuck with for this. 
I did a base layer with my Art-X alcohol markers that they sent me a little while back, and I used a combination of Prismacolor and Art-X colored pencils for the shading. On this next spread, things still aren't as fleshy looking, but I did add little nodes here and there in hopes that they would maybe look like plants or vines, but that didn't really succeed. I don't know, it's still good technical practice though, it's just not really what exactly I was hoping it would be. <laughs> I made some avocado toast this morning. Usually my breakfast game is not really on point, but this time I decided to make a presentable little avocado toast. And it was, in fact, bussin'. <laughs> Later in the day, I went to Arabia Mountain with Tayara, and one of the park rangers actually drove us out to this remote path that went along a creek, and it was so beautiful. You could tell that people didn't usually come out this far, though, because we were constantly walking into spider webs. But it was so worth amazing. it. It was so, so beautiful, and there were frogs everywhere. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. So this is my chair right now. I'm sitting on my tattoo bed at this adjustable standing desk. <laughs> I'm about to order a chair on Wayfair. There's this green little stool that I found, like a rolling stool. So I'm thinking, I don't want to have a super comfy chair. I just want to have something that I'll, I'll sit on. It'll be slightly uncomfortable because it needs to wake me up so I can work. If I end up getting a comfier chair down the line, so it will be. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have this one little rolly chair. Only the necessities. I was looking at this really comfy looking chair. It was like a wicker, um, kind of, Hey, like, I wanted to get one of those for my desk because that could be really comfy and it could also just be like a nice little room chair to have. I made a cup of tea with my roommate's French press. I forgot that you can make tea in a French press. It was so much easier than my little tea strainer that I have to open up and then close and then, you know, the temptation to bring the tea into my room with the strainer still in there and then just drinking the tea while it's steeping the whole time. But yeah, this is much better. I love this. The chair has arrived. It took about half an hour for me to figure everything out because the instructions were just pictures and it just wasn't very clear where everything was supposed to go. There was also a piece that came with the stool that I simply didn't use because I just didn't realize that I needed to use it until it was too late. The assembly was really interesting for this because everything just pops into place except for these screws right here, but I kept trying to fit the wheels into the bottom and I was thinking to myself, like, there's no way to do this, like, it just doesn't come with the right equipment. And then I just shoved them into the part with more force and it worked, but it took a really long time for me to realize just because it felt so wrong, you know? Um, and now it's stuck like this forever and I can't disassemble it, but like, you know, why would I need to? I don't even know. I'm so used to dorm life and having a million things to disassemble and make more compact for like moving out and for storage, but I guess I don't really even need that anymore. I decided to give myself a haircut and once again, I have bangs. My hair is always in such an awkward state when my bangs are grown out, so I honestly just end up keeping them. It's a phase every year around summertime where I just cut them and I realize I love having bangs so much. This definitely wasn't the first time I cut them. I actually went back like two or three more times to really cut them the way I wanted, but yeah, I think I'm actually getting better at cutting my hair. Um, definitely better than two summers ago when I was cutting my own bangs. Um, I accidentally gave myself turf bangs and it was embarrassing. Here I'm tracing a tattoo design for a friend, which will probably end up as flash. I was going to tattoo a more simple design a few months ago, 
but it was difficult to coordinate because she was an hour away, but she's here for the summer, so I made some better designs, but we actually ended up sticking with that original, more simpler design. So yeah, this one will probably be up for grabs on my tattoo account. My tattoo journey has been very gradual. There's a pretty big DIY scene here in Atlanta, so there's a sense of community when it comes to giving resources and advice, but I've been keeping to myself a lot of the time, especially since I've only been living in the dorms and now my apartment. Both of these places are pretty complicated for new clients, and it's always awkward having to bring a stranger from Instagram up an elevator and into my room to give them a tattoo. I was so fixated on having a house so I could actually have space to tattoo from and not worry about a crazy downtown parking situation, but here we are. House hunting was really difficult since my roommate doesn't have a car and needs access to a MARTA station, so it was either find the perfect house in a safe area that was close to a station, which is very hard to find, as you can probably assume, or get an apartment downtown close to campus and MARTA. Of course, downtown is not really the ideal place to live and it has its own problems in terms of walkability, especially for a non-man at night. But I have my car now, so it's not a huge roadblock for me. I honestly hate having to drive everywhere. I really do wish I could walk or bike to run my errands or get to work, but alas, here we are. <laughs> Besides downtown being its crazy self, apartment life has been pretty nice. And since it's the summertime, I haven't been plagued with the intensity of classes, so I've truly been chilling. And I mean, I've been working to spend an unfathomable amount of money on stuff for the apartment, and we haven't even bought a vacuum yet, but it's okay, it's all right, it's fine. Um, I went to some underground events with my friends and I've been stopping by my parents' house a lot. It was also Father's Day, so that was really nice. It was a nice little moment. I got to cook for my family and we ate outside on the patio. Quite a beautiful evening, if I do say so myself. Lately, I've also been making more sticker designs. If y'all have been looking at the time-lapse drawings scattered throughout this video, you'll notice that I've had a slight obsession with drawing these funky, sort of metallic, colorful, blobby, reflective shapes in my sketchbook. I love how intuitive and therapeutic it is. I've also been drawing a lot like this at work in my free time. Obviously, I'm not able to record my process there, but it's been helpful in taking my mind off the troubles of everyday life. If you're thinking to yourself, why does Karina's voice sound so raspy? It's because I tested positive for COVID yesterday. It honestly feels like a normal cold, and that's what all my friends thought it was when they had it, but it's definitely COVID. I'm already feeling a lot better than I did yesterday, but I've been quarantining and of course I've been slightly under the weather, but I've been surprisingly productive. Obviously I'm doing the voiceover and editing for this video right now, now that I have some more free time, so that's actually been really nice. It definitely feels like that quarantine of 2020 when some people found a boost in productivity while being stuck at home. And I don't know why it's different than having free time at home while I'm not sick. Like something about just having COVID and having to quarantine makes me feral for doing something productive. It's so odd. I don't know the psychology behind that or what. It took me a second to realize that I have complete free reign on the entire apartment when Scott isn't here. I can talk in the living room. I can sit on the couch and be like, hi, let's catch up guys. So, hi, let's catch up guys. We had our housewarming party last night and it was so fun. So many friends came and I really appreciate all the gifts that I got. My friend Jin got me a cinnamon roll scented candle. That's what I'm burning right now. So the apartment smells like cinnamon rolls. My and Lucy also got me a plant, so that was really nice because I've been very into plants. I actually just bought a lot of new plants at Lowe's. They weren't taking debit cards and I only have a debit card. I didn't have any cash either. So literally I drove 10 minutes back here, grabbed my cash and then went back to Lowe's and <laughs> paid for my plant. I got a bigger aloe vera plant. I did have a very small aloe vera plant, but it is hanging on for dear life right now. I don't know if I can get it to be that big. I'm not good with plants yet, so you know, I'm practicing. I bought a rosemary plant and basil from Lowe's uh, in the garden section. But yeah, I'm so excited about my new plants. I definitely need to adjust to taking care of them because I have no idea. So if you guys have any tips for the specific plants that I'm showing you on the screen, um, please let me know because I can use all the help I can get. I love learning, it's hardcore. Any gardening, composting, any plant related stuff, 
I would love to know. I'm closing out this video with some trad wife cooking and cleaning for your viewing pleasure. Nothing hits harder than falling asleep on top of clean sheets. Actually, scratch that. Nothing hits harder than having in-unit laundry. When I was in the dorms, in all honesty, it took me at least three weeks to wash my sheets just because that meant having to put all my sheets in a hamper and take them down to the laundry room. And then of course, I'd have to go up and down and up and down and up and down to change the laundry or restart the washers or dryers because the clothes would take forever. And they didn't even feel clean at the end of it all because the laundry rooms were just so worn out. And I bet those machines were on their last legs. Anyway. At the end of the day, I am very glad to have in-unit laundry now because there is a much higher incentive to wash my sheets once a week instead of every three weeks. This was actually my first time cooking fried rice and I have no idea why because it's so easy to make, especially if you own a rice cooker. Also, most of the ingredients are things that you can either keep in the fridge or freezer or pantry for a long time before they go bad. So fried rice will probably be one of those dishes that I keep making like once a week or once every two weeks and modify it every time to experiment with different vegetables and all that. It was so good, TVH, I did not expect that. And now it's watering time. I am watering just a couple of my plants. I always just run them through the sink and let them drain for a second. That's just how I do it. If you guys don't like that, um, well, there's nothing you can do about it. And for this very last part of the video, I am now in my COVID era, so I am just cleaning up my room and trying to be in a clean space while I am quarantining. Definitely not the best time to have COVID. I wish I could have more free time during the summer to like go out and do stuff and tattoo people. But alas, this is how it is. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.